Welcome back, friends! Don't forget, this is the August Birthday Bash Giveaway Month, so don't forget to leave a comment to give you a chance to win a game. Okay! Alright, so here we go. So, the Mr. White voice needs to change up a little bit, because I know I'm gonna Kuja it on accident, and they're both in this one. Mr. White here, and I'm better than you. <laughs> no, that's not it. The thing is, I, I, he's got this very l larger than life thing, so he has to have a larger life voice. He's like, I'm Mr. White, I'm better than everyone here. <laughs> I'm better than you, and you, and the judge, and everybody. We'll go with that. Well, I guess this is it. Yeah. One way or another, this case gets decided today. Ah, for Phoenix, look! Prosecutor Edgeworth. I received a call from the public prosecutor's office yesterday. He told me that whatever Mr. White says today, it will be the absolute truth. No matter how you try to attack his testimony, if I raise an objection, I have it on good faith that the judge will listen to me. What? Does White have the judge in his pocket too? So you're saying I'm going to be guilty, end of story. I will do anything to get my verdict, Mr. White. Anything. Oh, you know what I mean. Why? Why? How can you torment an innocent person like this? Eels, honey. Eels. Innocent? How can we know that? The guilty will always lie to avoid being found out. There's no way to tell who is guilty and who is innocent. All that I can hope to do is get every defendant declared guilty. So I make that my policy. Edgeworth! The f <laughs> You've changed! Hmm? Phoenix, you know him? Don't expect any special treatments, Phoenix, right? But Phoenix? Well, court will be opening for session soon. What? But wait! Your defense attorney isn't even here yet. He's not... I'll be defending myself. What the fudge was that? What? Okay, let's do this. Of course he's gonna defend himself, he's a defense lawyer! September 9th, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number one. The court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Am I recording? I am. Okay. Mr. Wright, are you sure you're, you're up there? Uh, Mr. Wright, are you sure you're up to doing this? Yes, Your Honor. I will be defending myself. Understood. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. Something going on in my throat. Uh-oh. As the details of the event are already quite clear to the court, today we will hear the testimony of another witness to the defendant's crime. I see. The prosecution may call the witness. That went far too smoothly. Why didn't the judge ask Edgeworth why his witness didn't testify before? It's like, it's like he already knows why. Hmm, if anyone's going to raise an objection about this case, I suppose it's me. Objecting this early? Objection. Why not? Mr. Edgeworth, you owe an explanation to the court. Why didn't this witness testify in the trial yet against Miss Maya Fay? Maya Fay. Hmm. I'm ever so sorry. Mr. White is a busy man, and besides... At the time, I thought that Miss May's opinion was all that would be needed. Again, my sincerest apologies to the court. Excellent, Mr. Edgeworth. I appreciate your demeanor. Hmm. Great, he gets to show off and I get nowhere. I would like to call Mr. Red White to the stand.
Please state your full name. You wish to know the title of my personage. Holy balls! Wow. Uh, your name? Yes, that is what I said. Oh dear, do my lo <laughs> locutions confuse? Okay, he got a different voice all of a sudden. Do my locutions confuse? Name. These two are great together. My name is Red White, but my friends call me Blanco Nino. I am the CEO, or used to a more common term, the president of Blue Corps. Did you know the victim, Miss Maya Faye? Miss Mia Faye? Oh my god, I'm getting this name mixed up. That would be a negatory. No, I did not. Hmm. You were at the Gatewater Hotel the night of the murder. Oh, correct. And you were, and you witnessed the murder from there. Ahem, why tell you what you already know? Very well, Mr. White. You may begin your testimony. I can't rip this guy's testimony apart. I'm done for. Why do I always feel like it's the end of the world and I'm the last man standing? Ho ho ho. Jesus Christ! I hope you have major peace with God, Mr. Lawyer. Let him have it, Phoenix. Witness testimony. Let's see. I, it was about nine, I believe. I was quietly pers persurfifying, perusing, perusifying, if that's reading to you, some papers by the window. Then I heard a bedlam coming from outside. Surprised, I turned to look at the building across the way. It was then I saw him, a spiky-haired man attacking a woman with long hair. Needless to say, that man was none other than you, Mr. Lawyer. I called Miss May over at once. She too was flabbergasted by, of course. The victim, she, she ran away, but you gave chase. Finally, there was a terrible impaction. Then it was all over. Hmm. If things occurred as you testified, then I'm afraid the defendant is guilty. Very well, defendant, uh, I mean, Mr. Wright. Your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, the voice I was going for with the judge was trying, it's, it's a little Reinhardt, but not really Reinhardt. It's a little bit not Reinhardt, because Reinhardt's more bombastic. But I'm also trying to do Dame Odin in a way. <laughs> Without the racism. So... Without the little, little. Yes, Your Honor. Cross examination. Okay, 9 a.m. Let's press. How do you know what time it was? Because I always absolutely positively lutely perfectly, you know. No, 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 you're not getting away with that. You are so mistrusting, Mr. Lawyer. So, what was the proper term for secretary again? Anyway, Miss May ordered her room service for nine. It happened soon after the room service arrived. Huh, that's what Miss May said, too. Hold back. I don't see anything to gain by attacking him on this point any further. Okay, what were you doing at, this at the time? Check my evidence. Check my evidence. Autopsy. May have lived for a few minutes after being hit. The phone conversation. Broken glass. The thinker. Wiretap. Maya. The victim dodged and attacked and ran to the right, but she was caught and struck. Murder scene. Alright, 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 okay. Quietly press- okay. Keep pressing. By window, you mean the one directly across from the Fay Co. Law Office? Of course! That is the only window, you see. And they are reading papers? Correct. 
The Gatewater is a businessman's hotel, and I am a busy man who had business to do. Then I heard a bedlam coming from outside. A bedlam? It must have been when you attacked, I assume. We see. Continue. Surprised, I turned to look at the building across the way. The way. So you were reading your papers until you heard that sound. But of course, I am no snoop peeping out of the windows at night. No snoop. Yeah, right. You've made a career out of snooping. It was when I saw him, a spiky-haired man. Okay, let's see here. Spiky haired? This is it, the man with. Well, that's it? Okay. What you just said directly conflicts with Miss May's testimony. Miss May clearly said that the assailant looked like a girl. I've always been proud of my eyesight, Mr. Lawyer. Because what is your eyesight? <laughs> Counting both eyes? 40. <laughs> oh my god. 40? Don't add them together. I think the witness is trying to say his eyesight is good. Hey, whose side is the judge on, anyway? And what did you do then? I called Miss May over. Hold it. What was Miss May doing at that time? She had just finished watching a soap opera on the TV and was weeping openly. Did you know she had been tape tapping the Faye office phone? Irrelevant! That has nothing to do with the case at hand! I cannot. I will answer that lawyer's bold inquiry. Miss May was acting alone when she tapped the phone of this Faye woman. You'd make a good politician, Mr. White. Oh, after all, I am El Presidente. Please continue. The victim, she ran away, but you gave chase. Okay. Can you be a little more detailed about that? I think it's worth knowing exactly what happened. Of course, Cuthbert, comprende, I understand. The victim was attacked by you and ran to the left. There it is. You gave chase and struck her down. Are you sure? As you know, I am always absolutely lutely lutely perfect. Perhaps you could change your testimony to reflect this new detail. Victim ran to the left and gave chase. Present! Present! Dodge to the right! Wait right there! Mr. White, you've dug your own grave! What is this? He said the victim ran to the left. But that directly contradicts Miss May's testimony. She clearly stated that the victim ran right. Ho ho ho! It is simple, you have misheard here. I think not. Look at the floor plans. The killer was here. And the victim here. If the victim ran to the left as you play claim she did, she would have been running directly away from the door. She would have been running into a dead end. Don't you find that odd? <laughs> she ran to his left. Very strange. His face completely changed. Jeez, he looks like... Wow, he looks like a greaser from this angle. Very strange. I did see her run to the left. I did. Phoenix, look at his face. I don't think he's lying about this one. True. Maybe he really did see the victim run left. His left. So he did witness the killing. Wait a second! Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. Miss May says right, and Miss Mr. White says left. Can you explain this contradiction to the court? Both are right. Both witnesses are telling the truth, for once. Huh, I doubt it. Ugh, rather, that does not clear up the contradiction. There is one scenario that would explain the conflicting accounts. What? Obviously, the witness was not viewing the crime from the hotel. Oh, look, she's there now. 
Mr. Wright, what do you mean? Yes, what do you mean he was not viewing the crime from the hotel? If he was not in the hotel, where could he have been? Oh, balls, I gave it away. In the law offices of Fay and Co., of course. More specifically, he was standing here. Show the court where Mr. White was standing. There. 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 Present. Oh, this. Present. This is where he was. Look. When the victim ran for the door, if he was watching from this point, to him it would appear that she ran to the left. Please. This is no time for jokes and ill taste. That is where the killer was standing. Exactly, Edgeworth. Order! I will have order to do it! Anyone disturbing the order of this court will be held in contempt. Mr. Wright, what are you suggesting? Little Rapscallion? R Rapscallion? The, the postulations of the defense are distortion of the truth, Your Honor. Indeed, they do seem a bit far-fetched. Ho ho ho! <laughs> uh, you provide us with so much entertainment, Mr. Lawyer. What now? He's laughing! The hilarity of the moment made me remember something. It appears I have been unclear, and for this, I apologize. Mr. Your Honor, might I be allowed to testify once more? Very well, let's hear your revised testimony. That's allowed? Good luck, you can't fix a broken testimony, buddy. She ran to the left. Miss May's testimony was correct, as, as was mine. When you assaulted the girl, you ran. F she first ran to the left, and then you hit her savagely. And that is what I saw. Next, with the last of her strength, she ran to the right. You chased her and delivered the final blow. Two hits! That is what Miss May saw. You see? You hit her twice. Don't you remember, Mr. Lawyer? Wouldn't the autopsy directly say no? Hmm, that does seem to make sense. Will you be cross-examining the witness testimony? You bet I will! I mean, yes, Your Honor, come on! Ran to the left. That's easy enough, go. 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 Go back. How can she have be alive from two hits? I mean, it says she died from the first hit. They only saw one blow, didn't- Okay, let's try it. Let's try it. Mr. White. The victim died from a single blow. Duh! <laughs> what do you have to say to that? Uh, Now's my chance to hit him where it counts. Mr. White. Wasn't it you who told this court you were absolutely per perfect? Mm hmm. I will refrain from using this phrase from now on. Your Honor, if you could ask the witness for a new testimony. The witness up posit uh The witness is obviously confused, Your Honor. I would like to request a, a ten minute break. Yes, yes, quite. Object right to fudge back, bruh! The witness is confused because he's lying. I empathetically request that there be no break, Your Honor. Yeah! We want the justice! Don't let him get away! <laughs> Very well. If the witness would care to revise his testimony. The crowd's on my side. No slipping out of this one now, White. Mr. White? Oh, <laughs> okay. Alright, look at that, the two accounts. 
Um, well, see, I looked at the other window and I heard that thing fall. Then the next moment I saw Miss Maya... Uh, Miss Mia run to the left. And the killer, you attacked her, but she dodged. Um, and then... He turned and ran to the d for the door. Then you did her in with a single blow. Thwap. Yeah. Yeah, I, I did Kujin that I noticed. Hmm, thwap indeed. Very well, you may begin the cross-examination. Mr. Your Honor, my stomach, you see, it is hurting. Deal with it! This is almost over. Balls. Alright. Well, you see, I looked at the other window when I heard that thing fall. He's talking about this. Drop it in. I used one up, Your Honor. That statement contradicts this evidence. Hmm? It does? I don't see anything contradict- Ah, oh, I did that wrong. Huh? Really? Ah, oh, I did that wrong! Objection of rules. Try to think before you make a decision. I did that wrong! I wanted to just present it up. I think I'm supposed to press first. I'm supposed to press. Press him first. My bad. You heard that thing fall? What exactly was that thing? Huh? Oh, oh, oh that. Um, the glass light stand. Right, the one that had fallen over at the scene. Phoenix! Doesn't sound- doesn't something about that strike you as odd? Yeah, very odd. Yeah, that is odd. I'll press further. Mr. White? Oh, wh what You're saying you saw the glass light stand? Y yes Then change your testimony to reflect that. <laughs> so sorry, my- my bad. The witness will revise his testimony again. Okay, okay, of course. The light stand was lying on the floor when I looked. Then the next moment I saw Miss Mia run to the left. Okay, go back. Press again. The glass stand was lying on the floor. That's the first I've heard of this. Why didn't you tell us about the stand before? But why me? Well, uh, I was instructed not to- WAIT! One moment. Uh, give me a minute to gather my thoughts. I am so, so confused. White's falling apart. Your Honor, please, I ask that you do not allow the witness to be badgered any further. M Mr. Wright, please refrain from badgering the witness. Yes, Your Honor. Edgeworth is on the ropes. Very well, the witness may continue his account. Then saw her run to the left. Killer you attacked her, but she dodged. You turned and ran to the door. Then you hit her with a single blow, Thwap. Phoenix! He's getting a lot less talkative. He's probably a f he's probably afraid I'll catch him on something, but it won't be easy. Here's my thing. Lightstand was lying on the floor when I looked. The next moment I saw her run to the left. The killer, you, attacked her, but she dodged. She turned and ran to the door. And you did her in with a single blow, Thwap. Yeah, uh, just, just press, I'm not sure, just keep pressing for now. The next moment, okay, just press. Miss Mia? Mr. White, did you know the victim personally? No, 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 triple no, no! How would I? How could I? I see nothing odd about the witness knowing the name of the victim! Mr. Wright, I will not have you harrying the witness! You're looking a little flustered, Edgeworth. Hold on a second. Now, before you said that she was hit before she ran, Yes, I yes I must be confu been confused. <laughs> you know what? But don't worry. We all know what happened now. Okay. You turned and ran to the door. What did you do then? I gave chase, of course. <laughs> what? I gave chase, of course. Oh, uh, no, 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 not me. I the the killer. I mean, uh, he gave chase. 
Mr. White, please try to remain calm. Mr. Wright here is only trying to fluster you with baseless accusations. Oh, all right, thank you, Miles. Then you did it with a single blow. Whap? That doesn't sound like the savage attack from your earlier testimony. Oh, yes, well, I'm a man of peace, you see. Phoenix, he's getting a lot less talkative. He's probably afraid to kill casuals. Okay, so we got every line, okay. use this? Well, he has nothing to do with that, but why is there a note with Maya's name on it, right? Like... Press on that again? Wait a second. Uh, you know, I, I got some points I can use. Let's, let's put the pressure on a little bit. Let's apply the pressure on that one. Let's try using the glass again. Objection! Ah, there we go! Mr. White. It was impossible for you to have seen the light stand. What? <laughs> the stand broke into pieces when it fell. Oof. Just by seeing the broken pieces, you would have no idea it was a light stand. So tell me exactly when was it that you saw the stand? Answer the question! <laughs> Isn't it obvious? I saw the stand before it fell over! So you saw the stand before the victim was attacked then? <laughs> Correct! That would be no problemo, right? Hmm... Big problemo! There's a big problemo er I mean problem here. What problem is that? Mr. White, let me make sure I have this straight. You saw the glass light stand through the window from the hotel before the incident occurred. Correct, uh, that, that is so. It's co conclusive, definitive, undeniable, and unimpeachable, yes. No, it's impossible. You couldn't have seen the stand because it's behind the window. What? Why couldn't he? You have proof? I sure do, Your Honor. A person at the hotel could not have seen the stand before it fell over. Floor plan. It's over here. Take, Take it in the face! Look at this! These are the floor plans of the scene of the murder, yes? Correct, Your Honor. Now look. If you were to look through the window at the office, this is the area you would be able to see. Here. Well? Note that the stand is not within the visible area. Well, Mr. White? What do you have to say to that? Uh, ridiculousity! Mr. White? If you were in the Gateway Hotel as- Gatewater Hotel as you claim. You could not have seen the stand before it fell over. In fact, you wouldn't have been able to see it after it fell, either. There's no way you could have recognized the broken shards as a glass light stand. So when did you see the stand, Mr. White? It must have been the moment that it fell. And the only place you could have seen that from is inside the Fay Law offices. In other words, you were at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. Oh my god. Rubber, 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 rubber. Mr. White? Mr. White? Y you did it, didn't you? Mr. Your Honor. <laughs> Mr. Your Honor. Ay, ay. Miss Mia. Huh, looks like we're about to get our verdict. Damn it! That's far enough, Phoenix Wright. 
What? what? Ugh, I forgot about Edgeworth! How? He's right in front of me! Mr. White! Uh, I think the time has come! Shouldn't you confess your crime now, hmm? What? What? I said you should confess your crime. There go. Confess that you placed the wiretap. Oh! The wiretap? Oh, they got me there! Oh! Order, order! Mr. Edgeworth, explain to the court what you mean by this. Distinguished members of the court, Mr. White is slightly confused. Allow me to explain. I really don't like the way this is headed. As you know, Mr. White is the CEO of Blue Corp. He ordered his secretary, Miss April May, to tap the law offices of Miss Fay. What does that have to do? Your Honor, the question is, when was the wiretap placed in the office? And by who? No, you wouldn't! Mr. White? In order to place the wiretap, you went to Miss Faye's office. Am I correct? Huh. Hmm. C correct uh, You are most correct, Miles. Give me a break! Yes, in order to place the wiretap, I breached the Fay and Cole offices. That is when I saw that ac accursed light stand. Mother fudger! Oh! Now I am confused. Please explain to the court what this all means, Mr. Edgeworth. Gladly, Your Honor. Mr. Phoenix Wright has made his position quite clear. He has determined that Mr. White knew the glass stand was in the office. He was... He has shown that there was only one time Mr. White could have seen the stand. At the very moment of the murder. Thus, Mr. Wright would like you to believe that Mr. White was the murderer. I see. However, it is a fact that Mr. White has been in that office well before the murder took place. He went to place the wiretap. Breaking and entering is still a criminal offense. He could have seen the glass light stand then. Ergo, Mr. Phoenix Wright's theory is revealed for the basis conjecture it is. Balls! Mr. White, you will testify to the court about this wiretap. Son of a bitch, I <laughs> am. Leave it to me. I, I feel faint. God dang, this goes. It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. I had entered the Fay and Co. law offices. Of course, I had done so to place the wiretap. That is when I saw this gas glass light stand. Hmm. So you saw the stand before the night of the incident. And this is how you were able to identify what had fallen over by the sound. Oh my god. Correct, is that is right? I see. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may cross-examine. God, what am I supposed to do now? Good luck, Phoenix. Balls. All right, let's press every bit. All right. D do you have proof? Damn it! Miss April May knew the details of Miss Miss Faye's phone conversation. This proves that the wiretap was placed before the murder. Ha! Huh, right. Balls. Entered. Was it really you that went to the office? Or was it Miss May? Objection. Unidentified fingerprints I s several days old were found in the Fay and Co. law offices. Those were obviously Mr. White's. And if I know Edgeworth, he's already run a check on those prints. Now, Mr. White, tell us why you went to the Fay and Co. law offices. Place the wiretap. Why did you tap Mia's phone? This has no bearing on the current case, Your Honor. Blue Corp is a detective agency of sorts. 
You have a responsibility to protect clients and confidentiality. How is that not illegal? Last stand. Why did you notice something so as innocuous as innocuous as a light stand? The light stand was made entirely out of glass. It was quite stylish, so of course I, I guess I made a lasting impression on me. Such a putatious thing deserves attention, does it not? That is all. Damn it! There's nothing there for me to press on him on. Him on. Oh well, maybe he's rattled. Enough that I can bluff something out of him. Was that really everything? Uh-oh! Don't tell me I've run out of ammo! This tisk. I'm afraid that's as far as you go, Mr. Wright. The time has come for you to admit your defeat! You fought honorably. No more! I can't take this anymore! Mr. Wright? Are you giving up? Huh. Y yes Your Honor. Phoenix! Huh? Phoenix, over here! I know that voice! Is it Grosberg? That's my- Mia? Oh, it's- it's Mia! Mi mia Never give up, Phoenix! Boo? But mia Did we go f did we faint? Where- where am I? The waiting lobby? What happened? Oh right! I lost the trial! I was hallucinating! Ah! Ah! You're finally awake! Ah! <laughs> Faint again! Uh, hey! Phoenix! Yak! That's no way to greet an old friend! Phoenix, I want you to look at me! Yo, I make a joke about not looking her in the eyes! What the- Whoa! 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 Y your Maya? Didn't you know the Fey women have strong psychic powers? When you accepted your defeat in court, it appears that was enough to, of a shock to awaken Maya's true powers. So, Maya's channeling you, Mia? That's right. I am Maya, but I'm also Mia. Now I want you to listen to me, Phoenix. Maya never gave up. You can't either. That's what I came here to tell you. But, but... We don't have much time, Phoenix. Now listen. You've already won. What? You have, to, you have that receipt in the court record, right? I was wondering about that! Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> the one you wrote Maya on! Phoenix, ro White wrote that, not me. So, so what do I do with it? Look at the front of the receipt. The front? It's a regular receipt. Looks like it's from a famous department store. One million- Wow! Big spender! Item! Last light stand. Date of purchase, September 4th. September 4th! That's right, Phoenix! What would've happened if we used the receipt earlier, right? <laughs> or we can't because of the story. I bought that stand the day before I was killed! Whoa! Why a million dollars, by the way? Now, what did Mr. White say in his testimony? It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. He said he saw the stand the week before the murder. There you go. I think the court is about to reconvene. Go do it, Phoenix. You know you're innocent. Now you have... you just have to prove it. Right. Receipt! Alright, there we go. So now it's receipt instead of Maya. September 9th. 1.16 p.m. Four district court room number two one. Question! Was Maya's dress open? I don't remember. I thought it was a clothes dress. How did her dress get open for Mia? The court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. Is it defendant? Rather, are you alright, Mr. Wright? <laughs> yeah, sorry, Your Honor. I'm fine now. <laughs> then let's start where we left off. Your Honor, there's nothing to go back to. The cross-examination of Mr. White is finished. All that is required now is for you to pass judgment on the defendant, Phoenix Wright. Hmm.
Your Honor, please give me one more chance. I promise you this is the last time I'll ask you. Mm. But as, as Mr. Edgeworth has noted, the trial is more or less finished. Mr. Edgeworth, do you have an opinion on this matter? I say, let us give Mr. Wright, Phoenix Wright, his last chance. Very well. You may begin your cross-examination. He's still here? Oh, okay. Well, we got it. Let's do it. Go! Look closely at this. See the word Maya written on in blood? <laughs> You're grasping. I think not. Look at the other side of the receipt. The, the other side? Your Honor. Would you tell the court what is written on the other side of the receipt? Hmm. Well! A glass light stand. And the date of purchase. Why, that's the day before the murder! Ah! <laughs> there it is! You see? Mr. White. When you allegedly entered the Fay and Cole offices at the beginning of September. The stand could not have been there. Well, Mr. White, can't get out of this one, can you? <laughs> no, it's impossible! Uh-oh, he's losing it. Well, Your Honor, I understand there must be quite a bit of pressure on you. But I think you'll agree you can't judge me guilty under these circumstances. Hmm. Very well. Then that is all for the trial of... Objection! What?! What do you have?! Not so fast, Phoenix Wright. Eh?! What?! No way can he worm his way out of this one! Oh wait, I forgot! It's Edgeworth! Balls! There is a certain thread of logic to the defendant's claims. However, there is one no concrete proof that Phoenix Wright is innocent. Ah! There you go. I would like to request one more day before Phoenix Wright is granted his freedom. I need time to make one more inquiry into this matter. Hmm. Another inquiry? This isn't going to be another one of those updated autopsy reports. This guy just makes up evidence as he pleases. This is bad. Object! Mr. White's guilt is obvious. There is no need to prolong this trial any further. Mm. Well, Mr. Edgeworth. If anyone is going to call Mr. White the trial, it would be me, the prosecution. I need a day to ascertain whether your claims have any basis in factual evidence. Mm. I see. Objection denied. What?! Damn it! Alright. The, com the completion of the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright will be postponed until tomorrow. No! There's no telling what will happen if I can't end this now. Edgeworth is sure to come up with, with or just make up something. And after Mia showed up to help me and, and all. Mr. Your Honor, may I go home? Of course. Thank you for your time. Yeah. The witness will stay. M Mia? Phoenix, read this note out loud. Mia, what's this? Do it. Memo received from Mia. Your Honor, if I may? You're quite persistent today, Mr. Wright. I'm gonna die! <laughs> of course I am! You bet I am. My life is riding on this one. I have something I would like to read to the court. Mia's memo. List of people's names in Mia's handwriting. Tra, here we go! The memo Mia had given me was a list of names. Many of them sounded strangely familiar. 
people in finance, famous celebrities. That's when it happened. This is stop. This is hold. But please stop. Make him stop. How? How did you get that list? Mr. White, admit your guilt right here, right now. Or else this list will be released to the press. So we win by this? Mm. I, I confess. I confess. I, I did it. I hit her. I hit Miss Mia with the thinker. Case closed, Your Honor. <laughs> He's like, ha! <laughs> He's like, holy shit! Well, I see no reason to continue this trial. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor! You've done it again! That was quite a spirited defense. Yes, Your Honor! Quite spirited! Holy crap! I guess you could say that if only you knew how spirited it was! Hmm, well... This court finds the defense! Ahem, rather, the defendant, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Not guilty. Yeah! Hold my balls! We just won through blackmail? How does- What is with this court? This is a kangaroo court, sir! I would like to jump on a joey! That is all, the court is adjourned. Holy balls. September 9th, 2.24 p.m. District Court. Defendant Lobby Number 1. Well, I never thought I'd say be saying this again. But congratulations, you're lucky I was born a fae. I'm lucky I had both Mew and Maya on my side. I'm glad you made it. Thank you, Phoenix. You risked a lot to help me and Maya. I won't forget it as long as I live. As long as you live? My time is running out. Huh? Maya's powers are still weak. I can't stay here that long. What? what No, there's still so much to say. Don't worry. I'm sure we'll meet again. Ch chief I don't really want to... <laughs> not soon, right? Because dying is not on my list. Hehe. <laughs> I'm not the chief anymore. Phoenix, can you come to the office tonight? Say, nine? The office? I'll see you later. Chief, Mia! September 9th, 9.02 p.m. Faye and Cole offices. We're two minutes late. We're in trouble. Being here, it's hard not to think about the night. That night. You came! Mia, I was kind of worried you might not. Huh? Of course I came. Well then, I'm pretty hungry. How about a burger? M mia ah! You should see your face. Mia! What are you talking about? It's me, Maya! Maya? <laughs> what did I, I look like my sister? Look like you were her! Oh, I guess her dress opened up because her sister's bigger. Okay. Hmm, I might be able to use that. Oh, Phoenix, go to the store and buy me lunch, would you? Uh, Maya, we're, why are you here? Because of this. See? Mia wrote me a letter. Take care of Phoenix for me. Take care of... Who? Huh? She means that office. This office. Someone has to help with the new right and co law offices, right? And who better but me? Maya Faye, reporting for duty. Wait, no. On second thought, let's make this casual. Yo, Nick! <laughs> Maya here, ready to get down to business! You don't mind me calling you Nick, do you? It's a great name. Mia said that's what your friend Larry calls you. Nick? You know what that means? We're partners! Okay... You know, when I think about it, it is Maya's fault I'm here now. But, if it wasn't for her, I'd probably be in jail. What? Right and kill law offices. It's got a good ring to it. Yeah. Thanks, Maya. Good luck, Phoenix. I'll always be here. Watching. Right. 
Okay, Nick, let's do it. Huh? Do what? You know, it. Oh, fun. Okay, let's go. Oh, wait, what? Burgers, dummy. Burgers. There's a great burger joint just down the street. Come on. Time's wasted. Oh, okay. Wait up. Hoping for a different kind of do it. I apparently. The end. Okay, that's it for Phoenix, right? We're done. There's more cases to go. Brand new episode has been added. Turnabout Samurai. Yeah, the first Turnabout. Turnabout Sisters. And then Turnabout Samurai. What's with all the Turnabouts? I guess Turnabout is something. So I kept screwing up Mr. White's voice. I'm going to keep screwing up somebody's voice. I already can tell. And apparently it's going to be the witnesses. So there you go. That right there is the game. I, uh, this is quite the game. Like it's very high pressure in the court. My balls. Wow. This was made 15 years or 14 years before Ghost Trick. So it's interesting to see how they did things before Ghost Trick. And, uh, Episode 3 coming up. I wonder what this is going to be about. A samurai, obviously, but um, we'll see. So that right there is the game for now. Um, It's pretty fun, pretty good. And, uh, well, I had fun playing. I had fun watching and listening. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Having fun. If you like the video, give us a like. If you like us, give us a sub. Thanks for coming by, and see you next time.